In this video, I'll explain leak water filtration to help you determine what you'll need to fix that nasty water at your home cottage or cabin. Are you unhappy with the safety, taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by your lake water? By the end of this video, you'll know what a complete lake water filtration system consists of, what each component is called, what it does, as well as the correct sequence of the equipment when it's installed. And I'll detail next steps for getting your lake water fixed. Basically, we clean up the water to remove the dirt, color, and impurities from your water so it won't stain your fixtures, and then we disinfect it so it's safe for your family. We'll check out my lake water infographic as I explain each phase of what you need and what it does. Keep in mind, what you need depends on what's in your water. Your water starts off from a pump that's in the lake, and from there it goes into your pressure tank. The pressure tank accumulates water under pressure and pushes out your water to your household when you open up the tap. Now you'll need that pressure tank as it needs your pump last much longer, because if you didn't have a pressure tank, every time you used even just a very small amount of water, your pump would turn on and off. That would definitely shorten the life of that pump. Next up, you'd use one of these three types of pre-filtration to get rid of the dirt from your water. Water. Now, the type that you'd use would depend on how much dirt's in your water and how much maintenance you do or don't want to do. First up is the spin down filter. A spin down filter does very coarse filtration. So as your water flows in, the dirt that's in your water accumulates on the filter element inside. And then after a few days of use, you put a bucket underneath, open up the valve at the bottom and centrifugal force spins the dirt off that uh, filter element and flushes it out the bottom. Then you close the valve and you go on from there. Now, this is not an automatic system. You'd have to manually do this. So if you don't have too much dirt in your water, then you could go with a filter housing instead or in addition to that spin down filter. The filter housing would have a coarse sediment filter inside to do the pre-filtering. If the dirt amount isn't too bad, you could use one of these to pre-filter your water before any water filtration equipment, like an automatic backwashing filter or a tannin filter. The filter element will need to be changed at least once a year or more frequently if they become clogged. Or you can go with one of our Hume automatic backwashing filters. Typically these are used when you have so much dirt in your water that you're constantly replacing sediment filter cartridges. These are great because the dirt accumulates inside while you're using your water and then every four days or so they backwash automatically to flush out all the debris. Makes life easier for you, no filters to change and no chemicals are involved. Now if you've got brown water caused by tannins, this is where the tannin filter would go. As water passes through it removes the color caused by the organics. The tannins come from decomposing organics like cedar roots tinting the water. Tannin filters use water softener salt to clean up the media. These clean the media every three days, so you'll need to add water softener salt periodically. So as you can see, we've gotten rid of the dirt from the water, we've gotten rid of the color from the water, now we need to make sure the water's bacteria free and safe for your family. Now keep in mind, if you don't make sure your water's bacteria free for your family, no one else will. This is not like city water, where the municipalities make sure your water's bacteria free. For this, we use a three-stage ultraviolet or UV disinfection system. So with our Hume Safe Water 10, three-stage ultraviolet disinfection system, the first stage is a sediment filter. So this is a fine sediment filter. It makes sure that no uh, particles of dirt get through bigger than the bacteria to shield the ultraviolet light from the bacteria. The second stage is a carbon filter, which removes chemicals from your water, like herbicides, pesticides, that kind of thing. And the last stage is the ultraviolet light that kills the bacteria and makes sure the water is safe for your family. To remove contaminants and excessive total dissolved solids, like salt, potassium, copper, aluminum, nitrates, uranium, lead, fluoride, arsenic, microplastics, and forever chemicals like PFOS, PFOA, pharmaceuticals and personal care products, and to create a second barrier from the bacteria, you would use a reverse osmosis drinking water system. Like our Hume Water Saver 75 high efficiency reverse osmosis drinking water system. And as you can see, this is not a whole house system. This goes after the, the whole house or whole cottage cabin water filtration system and it only supplies super pure reverse osmosis drinking water system to one faucet at the kitchen sink and if you've got a fridge with a water dispenser or an ice cube maker can also supply that at the same time. So what exactly do you need in lake water filtration for your family? We'd be happy to make a recommendation but we need some more information before we can help you. First go to our websites either watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada then just go up here and go over here where it says free water test evaluation. 
click on here where it says learn more and then scroll down on this page and here you'll see a water information form so we'll need you to fill out that form tells us where you're from, tells us your email information, but more importantly, it also tells us how many people in your household, which determines how much water you use, and a lot more information about your water source. We'll also need to um, have a water analysis. Now, if you don't have a water analysis, in other words, how much uh, tannins there's in your water, if there's tannins in your water, pH, that kind of thing, no problem. You can just, there's some information right up here that uh, explains how you can mail us a water sample and we'll test it for you and it's also got our mailing address there. Now once you've completed this form, make sure you submit it to us. And if you're looking for more information about the products discussed in this video, including how to install, how to maintain, how they work, you can go to our websites, watereastore.com in the US, watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. Click here for your next video on water filtration basics and I'll see you there.